welcome to my YouTube. My name is Kristen. If you have not been here before, I post a lot of knitting content here and then some other random things that are just kind of going on in my life that I would like to share with whoever wants to watch. But today I'm very excited because I have my first podcast style video and if you watch any knitters here on YouTube, a lot of people do these where they kind of do them maybe every week, sometimes a little bit longer, and they just update the projects that they're working on, some of the things that they've learned, maybe some plans that they have for their knitting. And because today is December 15th and Christmas is only 10 days away, I have a lot that I'm working on that I figured I would share. Um, I'm kind of a slow knitter, so it's exciting that I have a lot of progress that I've made because sometimes I feel like things take me a long time and that if I were to make a video every week, people would not see the difference because it takes me a while to make a lot of progress. But I have a lot of things that I want to share, so I'm excited. Um, I currently live in Miami, but I'm going to New York for Christmas because I am from New York and that's where my family is. And I have some plans for things that I'm making for myself and for others when I go to New York. I'm flying out on the 19th, so in four days, and I'm making myself something because I cannot wear a lot of knit things here in Miami. I mean, I can wear the shirts knit, it's just from a store, but a lot of things you can't wear because it's so warm here all year. Um, so I started a last minute project for myself in the hopes that I could knit myself something and wear it in New York. So, uh, hmm. but I'm going to start by presenting a different project because it's the first one I grabbed. So a gift that I am making for New York is this one and in trying to detangle the yarn, I don't have um, the thing that you wrap the yarn around to make a little ball. However, a wine bottle works very well. So this is my yarn that I'm using. It is blue. I will link all my yarns and my patterns below. But I do really like this yarn. It's acrylic, so and there's some controversy about using acrylic yarn. But being in the US, it's kind of hard sometimes to get natural fibers without paying a lot for them. And I cannot always do that for my projects. But this yarn was really great to work with, and I think it's really great for this project. So I'll link it below, and if you're interested in using it, I recommend. This is my little ball. I would recommend not using it in the skein that it comes in because mine has a big knot. But anyway, this is the project. It is a, I keep calling it a collar and that makes it sound like a dog collar, but it's like the top of a sweater and you wear it under other clothing items like a sweatshirt or a dress. And it just gives you like the turtleneck look underneath without wearing a full turtleneck underneath. It gets rid of a lot of the bulkiness and it keeps you really warm, kind of like a mix between a sweater and a scarf. So this is what it looks like, and I'm super happy with how it's coming out. So there you go. Some of the cable definitely isn't the way it's supposed to look. So you can kind of see it gets a little weird down here. However, I think it still looks great, and I'm super happy with it. I tried it on, maybe I'll try it on again and insert a little clip if you guys are interested. Um, maybe actually, I'm not gonna do that right now because I wanna get this video up, but I will maybe share a picture of it in a future video, or you can just check my Instagram, which I'll link below because I will definitely share it on there. But this is how it looks. I have a few more inches to do on the front here, so I put a little progress marker where the shoulder finished, because this is the entire shoulder. It just like comes down to there. And then the progress, or the pattern recommends going eight inches. <clears throat> Sorry. eight inches past this marker just to make sure that so like you're wearing it and you have like a cute button up over it and it has the turtleneck vibe and you don't want to obviously have the knitwear end there and then the button all the way out down there because then you'll just have your skin out there so eight inches should be enough that you can wear it under any clothing article you'd want to and it would cover up and it would also keep your chest nice and warm so if it is a cold day and you wear this under a jacket should keep you nice and cozy. I haven't done the back panel much yet, um, but I think I'll have plenty of time to finish this. That's the other thing I like about it. It knit up super fast. I personally, when I knit something just in stock net, which I'll show you, I have a project I'm working on, it takes me forever. Um, but when I work with something that has like a color work or a stripe even or a cable, I do move much faster because it's exciting. And you're like, oh, I wanna get to the next part of the cable and see what it looks like. So that keeps me super motivated. So this one's knitting up very fast, but this is how it looks so far. It has I-cord edgings and the front panel has maybe like two more inches to go and touch to the back. 
I think that this will get finished by Christmas time for sure. It better. Um, because I'm giving it to my sister and she really rocks the whole like vintage sweatshirt and kind of mom jeans look, which I always feel like doesn't flatter me, but she always looks cute and she's a big fall girl. Like her fall flavored coffees and things like that. And I just feel like that would be a great addition to her wardrobe. I actually saw it on Instagram. I will link the maker below. And I was like, oh, that reminds me so much of Adeline. I have to make it. And I got the yarn right away, started it, and it's been going great. So I'm very excited about how that is coming out. A project I'm making for myself is right here. And I am not usually a selfish knitter, actually. I think it's because a lot of times I see so many patterns that I like. It's really hard to decide what's worth making and what isn't. So like, if I see 10 things that I would be excited to have, I can't knit all 10 of them at once, obviously. And sometimes I find it hard to just pick one. So I usually just wait until I see something I think someone else would love and I knit that up and that keeps me more motivated. However, I want to become a sock knitter. And the problem with knitting socks is if you make them for someone else, you can't obviously have them try them on as often as you could while you're making it. And because I'm not a very good sock knitter yet, um, I figured making them for myself first would be the easiest. That way I could just slide them on and measure them and make sure that they're going well the whole time I was doing them. Thank God I did because they were not going well. They were too small and I've been posting videos updating you guys on my sock knitting journey if you want to watch that. But this is the pattern I was trying to make. It has little ice cream cones and my favorite food is ice cream. That's always like my fun fact. When, I don't know, you go somewhere and someone's like, tell me about yourself. I love ice cream a lot. So when I saw these socks, I was super excited. This book is awesome. It is called The Charming Colorwork Socks, 25 Delightful Knitting Patterns for Colorful, Comfy Footwear by Charlotte Stone. Highly recommend. And so I'm trying to make those ice cream socks. I was super happy with how the color work was coming along and then I tried them on and they did not fit over my heel. Fortunately, I was able to make them into little gloves. So this is how they look right now. I finished the first one and I'm super excited. You can see the little ice cream cones and then I did kind of like a faded to the cone color at the bottom. Just thought it would be fun. And I'll try it on for you guys, but I only have one done and I'm hoping I can get the other one done by the time I go to New York because otherwise they're not going to do me much good here in Miami because it's the middle of the winter right now and it's like 85 degrees and sunny. So they won't really get much use here. However, look how cute they are. I love them. They are cozy and they fit perfectly and they leave my fingers nice and loose. Um, I'm so excited about them. I think they are so cute. They definitely have their flaws for sure, but I love them anyway. So they're kind of hard to show on camera. But these are my little ice cream fingerless gloves. I ended up, so when I noticed that they were not the right size, I was like at the bottom of the cone. So I found a pattern online for like free fingerless gloves and I had to edit it a lot to make them fit mine because the measurements were totally different. But either way, it worked out. They're not perfect, but they're exciting for a first color work. Actually, I've never done color work. A first glove and an attempt at a sock. So. There you go. I also, I share more about this book in one of my other videos, um, but I have a lot of plans with this book. So hopefully in the upcoming chatty videos, um, I'll be working on some of those. I can show you guys one of them. So there's two that really stand out to me. I'll show them to you really quick. Oh, kind of three. Okay, let me show you three. My fiance, ugh, one of my projects I'm working on is a sweater for him. It's not going well either. But I want to make him these socks. He told me he didn't really want socks and then he saw these and he was really excited. So I want to make him those. My sister, who I am making this, the blue knit for, which I showed you guys, loves coffee, as I said, and fall and cozy things much more than I do. I'm a warm weather girl. She is totally a cold weather girl. And these little coffee cup socks are adorable. So I think I might make her those. However, I'm making her the little collar thing now. So she might have to wait on the socks. And then the last thing which stood out to me was these little blooming lavender ones. And they're on, these are super popular online. I've seen a bunch of people knit them up and love them. They're so cute. I'm thinking about making them into little mittens for my cousin. I can try to make socks again, but I just, I don't know her foot size well enough and she doesn't live anywhere near me. So I don't think it's worth it, but 
I think I'm going to make these into mittens for her. So I will need to choose another sock pattern for myself because I still think it's important to make myself some first so that I can learn how to do it and try them on as I go. But we will see. It's kind of on hold. Any project that I want to work on that isn't Christmas related is on hold for now until I can make time for it. This yarn is super soft. I bought it probably like two years ago. During the start of online classes in 2020, I picked up crocheting and knitting again for the first time in a while. And I made myself a sweater during my classes. I would sit in my virtual classes with my lecture on, camera off, and I'd sit in bed and crochet or knit. At the time I was living in upstate New York and it was super cold, so it was a great hobby to have at the time. Really got me through those classes. And I used this yarn for a sweater and I've had this since then. It's almost 2023, so it's super old, but it's so soft. Um, and I'm doing a Secret Santa with my family, and I got my cousin's girlfriend as my Secret Santa, and I'm making her a little mitten. So she lives in New York, and so I'm making her these little mittens. This is all I have. I just started them yesterday. We just got our assignments two days ago, which does not leave me a lot of time, but I mean, mittens won't take too long, hopefully, especially with a chunky yarn. So I just have the little ribbed cuff part right now. And one thing that I have been having trouble with, if you could see me struggling to get these on, is that I don't want to make my glove slash mitten cuffs too big because then they're not warm and cozy. Because then, you know, they're not tight around your skin and then the air will get in, the cold air, and then they'll be pointless. Um, but I kind of have to struggle to get them on a little bit, but she's much smaller than I am, so I don't think it'll be a problem because once they're on me, they're super cozy and warm. So this is what the cuff looks like so far. Um, I just started the increase row, actually, the last row. You can see my little markers increasing over here. Um, so I'm going to make these little mittens. My gloves and my mittens, I think I'm going to... You know like the baby gloves or mittens when there's a string that connects them so you don't lose one? I think that's a really cute look and I think it's not very functional all the time because your hands are obviously tied together. But I think it's really cute and I think when you're wearing knits, sometimes function is not the most important thing. Sometimes it's just that they're fun and cute. Especially when you make little ice cream cone gloves when you live somewhere where it's warm all year. So I think I'm going to do that. But that is a TBD because again it kind of makes them less functional. The last project I'm working on right now, which is on hold, so I'm trying not to worry about it too much because it's not a Christmas related knit, is that my fiance asked me to make him a sweater. And he picked out the sweater and it's a full stock net sweater. And it's made in a very different construction than anything I've done before. It's from Petite Knit. I forget which one it is, but I'll link it below. And I have a problem. So let me show you guys what my problem is. And if anyone has a suggestion, actually, that would be great. Um, I will put a disclaimer out there that I did not knit a swatch, which I realized once I made my mistake was a mistake and I should have knitted a swatch. Will I change and start knitting swatches? Probably not, but probably would have been helpful. So first of all, I'm using a very cheap acrylic yarn for the base, but then I bought a nice mohair, um, which I've never used before. And it's super soft and squishy. So I bought a nice mohair to combine with it so it's soft. And he wants a sweater vest, and this is what I have so far. So obviously, not much, because it's kind of a backseat project while Christmas is coming. I told him I would pick it back up full force in January after all of this is done. So this is what I have. Um, and I thought it was going great. Like, the fabric is so soft. This mohair is so soft. And I was really excited, like, the colors look great together. I hope you can see how nice they are. It's like a really nice, creamy, warm white, very soft. And the tension was great. I don't know, it just all seemed like it was going great. However, I got to one part of the project and everything was like measuring correctly. And then there was one part and it was like, your project should now measure however many inches. And mine was a lot less. Mine is not there. Um, and I don't know why. I mean, it could just be that I am knitting tighter and my gauge is just off because I didn't knit a swatch. But it was going well. Like, there was another checkpoint where she asked about, she's like, it should be this many inches and mine was fine. So I don't know what went wrong. 
but unfortunately I've just decided to not think about it because I feel a little stretched, stressed about it. I don't want to restart. I don't have that much done. I mean, I could restart, but that would kind of stink. But yeah, that is my my issue with this one. I feel bad because my fiance has been asking for a sweater for a long time. Like, I think after I made mine in 2020, he was like, oh my God, I want a sweater. And I was like, yeah, for sure. And that never happened. I have made him other projects in the meantime. I made him a hat and a Christmas stocking but not a sweater. So this is that. Um, and those are all the projects I'm working on right now. I'm really excited about all of them. I am prioritizing the first one I showed you, the blue one. And then I guess the yellow mittens will be my second priority and then my ice cream glove, which cannot be a priority because it's for myself and the other ones have to be done by Christmas, but I really, really, would like to wear them. I have a day plan in New York City with my mom and my cousin. We're going to Bryant Park. If you've not been to New York City, I am not a big New York City girl. I grew up near New York, um, like in New York, not New York City. And I don't know, it's just not like my favorite place. I get it, I get the appeal. But I, I mean, I moved to Miami, so obviously I'm not like a super diehard Manhattan kind of girl. However, Bryant Park near Christmas time is very magical. They have the ice skating rink and they have like a little Christmas village where people sell food and like jewelry and things like that. Lots of handmade things. And so I have a day planned where we're going there and then we're going to go out to dinner at like a nice restaurant and a lot of the restaurants around there kind of dress themselves up for Christmas. Um, so I'm very excited and it would be really nice if I could wear these. I think they're so cute. They have a lot of flaws and I don't care. Like this seam where the thumb connects the hand is pretty terrible. That seam is a mess. And my fiance was like, what happened there? And I don't even care. Like they have little ice cream cones, so. And they're soft. And I made them. So that that is all my projects that I have going on right now. I have a few things planned for next year, um, in like three weeks, but next year because it will be 2023. The socks is one. I also am going on a big honeymoon trip in 2023 because I'm getting married in April and so I'm hoping I can learn socks by then and then bring a pair with me because I saw a girl posting online about how she likes to make things when she's doing something important or exciting in her life and then every time you wear them or see them it makes you think of that and we are going to a bunch of places in Europe I'm going to Europe for the first time for our honeymoon and I think that while we're sitting on the train and the airplane and stuff having a sock to knit on that then I can bring home and they're like my honeymoon socks um that would be really cool. So that is a plan. That is something that is motivating me to learn socks because I think that they'd be an easy thing to carry around with me while I travel, which would be nice rather than trying to like bring a sweater on the train. That sounds like a disaster. And then Michael's sweater. And then I have some other little projects that I would like to make. Oh, <laughs> one other thing I'd like to start learning is how to make little baby knits. So petite knit has a bunch of like baby knit patterns. And I always, I'm not pregnant. I don't have a baby, but I'm getting married and I'm a very slow knitter and I'm excited to be a mom. So to get pregnant and already have a few things, knit would be cool. So that is something I've been thinking about, mostly because if you watch Well Loved Knits on YouTube, she is like a podcast kind of style knitter. She has a baby and she posted a ton in the process of knitting for her baby. And it was like my favorite thing to watch. I loved watching it. It's cute. and. For someone who loses steam with projects a lot, baby knits seem like a great option, obviously, because they don't take as long because they're little, um, versus a sweater for my fiance, which feels like it's taking forever. So that is the plan. I do not know what I'll be recording when I'm home in New York for two weeks, but hopefully I can share something here on my YouTube. And I think that that's all that I have to share today. I hope that you enjoyed watching and that if you did, you come back soon. Bye.